The Eastern Newt is an incredible animal with three complex life stages and is very easy to find in Michigan. The first thing you're probably wondering is what is a newt? Well, a newt is a special type of salamander. Unlike other salamanders, which have only two life stages, larval and adult, the newt thought it was better than all the other salamanders and decided to have three life stages, the aquatic larval and terrestrial stage, like all salamanders, but the newt decides to take it a step further and goes back into being an aquatic adult after its terrestrial stage. The eastern newt is also known as the red spotted newt and goes through all three of these life stages. The eastern newt larva hatches from eggs in spring and have external gills, small legs, and a rudder-like tail like all salamanders. They eat small aquatic insects as they are only 7 to 9 millimeters long. After 3 to 4 months, they begin to lose their gills and begin to develop lungs. Their legs get bigger and their tail becomes smaller. They emerge onto land into their second life stage, known as a red eft. Red eft's are fully terrestrial and breathe with their lungs. This is unlike some other species of salamander that breathe through their skin. Salamanders that breathe through their skin need their skin to be wet in order to breathe. Since red eft's have lungs, their skin doesn't need to be wet and they can travel much further away from water. Red eft's are usually found on the forest floor of coniferous and deciduous forests. They are usually hiding under leaves and logs. They only come out during the cool early morning and at night. They hunt any small insect they can find on the forest floor like springtails, fleas, beetle larvae, and small worms. Their bright red color acts as a warning to predators because they are poisonous. In the red F stage, the eastern newt will travel far in order to find new bodies of water. After three to four years as a red eft, the newt will find a body of water it likes and turn into an adult. As an adult, they lose their red color and their tail begins to flatten. They go back into being aquatic and will live in ponds, lakes, and slow-moving bodies of water. They breed in the water from late winter to early spring. Females lay 200 to 400 eggs in aquatic vegetation. The eggs have no shell and are instead covered in a jelly-like substance. The eggs hatch into the larval stage of the eastern newt. The larvae are completely on their own from the moment they hatch. Adult eastern newts eat things like worms, insects, and even mosquito larvae. If the pond they're living in dries up, they can go back into being terrestrial in order to find a new pond. They can live for 12 to 15 years in the wild. During winter, eastern newts in the red F stage will bury themselves under leaves or a log and go into brumation. Adult eastern newts will go into brumation under the ice of a lake or pond they have been living in. They have been seen to continue eating under the ice. Since the eastern newt is so small, red eft's are only 3 to 4 centimeters long and adults are only 7 to 12 centimeters long, many animals will prey on them, including birds, certain mammals like raccoons, fish, and reptiles. However, their poisonous skin deters a lot of predators from eating them. Even with this defense, only around 2% of eastern newts make it to the red eft stage. Some populations of eastern newts skip the red F stage of their life. They go directly into being an aquatic adult. Many species of salamanders have been known to have small populations that skip a stage in their life. These salamanders are neotenic and never lose their external gills.